Hi everyone, welcome back. In previous lecture, we have seen what is Thymlip. Well, Thymlip is a modern server-side template engine. It is used to process HTML, XML, JavaScript, CSS, and even plain text. In this lecture, we will take a look into how template engine works. Well, consider this workflow here. It has a Thymlip template, model, controller, and output. And this is the Thymlip HTML template. It has HTML code along with that Thymlip expressions and Thymlip attributes. Well, Thymlip engine will parse this Thymlip HTML template and it will evaluate the Thymlip expressions and Thymlip attributes and it will add that result in the HTML page. And if you look at the output here, Thymlip engine will basically replace all the Thymlip expressions and Thymlip attributes and it will add the result. And here is the output of that result. Well, look at here this code snippet. We are using Thymly provided th colon h attribute to iterate over a list of students. And this list of student is coming from the Spring MUC controller. And here student is nothing but a model class. It has attributes like first name, last name, email. And here we are using Thymly variable expression to access model attributes like student.first name, student.last name, and student.email. So basically, Thymly engine will parse this Thymly HTML template and it uses model data to replace the positions marked on the Thymlip template to create a new text in the HTML page. Alright, so Thymlip engine will basically pass this Thymlip HTML template and it uses a model data to replace the Thymlip expression signed attributes. We'll consider one more example over here. We have Thymlip HTML template and we have model and we have output of the Thymlip engine. Well, Thymlip engine will basically pass this Thymlip HTML template and it uses a Java model data to replace the positions marked on the Thymlip HTML template to create a new text in the HTML page. For example, this code snippet has a Thymlip expressions, isn't it? And Thymlip engine will basically replace this Thymlip expressions with a model data and it will produce the new text and that will be added in the final HTML page. Okay, if you look at the you know result of this Thymlip expressions over here. All right. Just remember, Thymlip engine will pass the Thymlip template and it uses model data to replace the positions marked on the Thymlip template to create a new text in the HTML page. Alright, so this is how the Thymlip engine basically works.